Brian Wilson, two up, two down. Nelson Cruz, strike one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Strike two. When you think of San Francisco, you think of the Golden Gate Bridge, cable cars, Lombard Street, and Fisherman's Wharf. But baseball? Not for this city. Unfortunately, everybody counts us out. Everybody says, oh, Atlanta's gonna beat you guys. The Phillies are gonna beat you guys. But where are we right now? We're in the World Series. The Rangers are gonna beat you guys. Yeah, the Rangers whatever. are gonna beat you guys. We're scrappy. Our team is number one scrappy. Either. Taking it down. Lots of heart. Yeah. Mucho corazón. Lots of heart for sure, the Giants. The former New York Giants moved from New York in 1957 to San Francisco to become the San Francisco Giants. The team hasn't won a World Series championship since moving, now over 56 years. Now they have an opportunity to challenge this great honor in 2010. You know, just, like I said, just be aggressive, whichever pitch. We're all here to win, and... Mostly it's probably just confidence and uh, going out there and expecting to be successful. And... Uh, it comes down to execution. You know, it comes down to either Linscombe or, or whoever's on the mound, Kane, uh, executing, and our hitters executing. Whoever executes the best is going to come out on top. So I hope that they do their best tonight. Sharpen it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Go Giants, we need to win the four straight games. I don't think so. I think it's going to be harder. Are you ready? Let's get it up for the 2010 National League Western Division champion, San Francisco Giants! Let's go Giants! Let's go Giants! I mean, they've got a bunch of new rookies. Posey are just doing phenomenal and just being how young they are just wrecking shop on everything. Pitcher Ken Lincecum, 26 years old, knows how to throw strikeouts. He is a two-time Cy Young Award winner and there is no doubt that he is the ace pitcher in this team. Catcher Buster Posey, 23 years old, named the 2010 Rookie of the Year with his powerful batting and mature mind guiding this team in the right way. Hamilton still back. Hamilton at the wall, out of here! His teammate, Audrey Huff, said, he's got a 30-year-old mind and a 23-year-old body. I like him because he's the young rookie and he has lots of talent coming into the Giants and I think he's going to be a big supporter for the next six years. And he's a very good role model for the kids. Really nice young man. Um, oh, it's a toss-up. I like them all. I like them all. It's a team effort, so, you know, I don't really have a favorite. All oh, right, everyone's important on the team. That's why it's a true team, real team. It's not one all-star and, like, a bunch of nobodies, you know? Everybody's somebody. Like the fans said, there is no superstar in this team. All they have is each teammate doing their job very well. Cody Ross is an MVP of the NLDS and NLCS. Edgar Renteria is named MVP of the World Series. Even though this team doesn't have any superstars like the Yankees, unity makes this team stronger than others. Because this is the first playoff game for most of the Giants players, Sometimes their mind is not ready yet for this big game experience. Uh, Texas was a pretty good team. I think they were lucky to beat them four out of five, you know? <laughs> yeah, that one just, that things didn't go their way in that one. Yeah. This is a, a, a World Series that, uh, you know, we, nobody's, nobody's won it before here. The Giants haven't won it, we have never won it, so we, we couldn't be happier to be here. The starting pitcher is not in his best form. The bullpen has been struggling lately and numerous fielding errors have left the team struggling during many games. Game over. Slams the door. Go Giants, we need to win the four straight games. Go Giants, number one. Go Giants, 
I think that uh, it's been really close and uh, everybody's uh, really nervous. Yeah, really nervous because every game has been close and uh, I think that I hope that they do their best tonight. Sharpen it up. The taut, low scoring games that are not only a torture for the fans, also strengthen the player's mind in these many crucial games. That's a line drive, base hit to left. Giants are on the board. In the score, Rick to Rick. Torres will hold it third. It's two to one. Swing and a fly ball to left. It will. Here comes Aubrey Huff. This game is over. The young guns and veteran sluggers lead this team to defeat the Braves, Phillies, and Rangers. Here's the pitch. Molina swings and misses. Strike three. Even when they fell behind their opponents and have some fielding errors at first, they know they will win this game because they don't give up. And finally, left a perfect gift for this city. Because they played as a team. They all sacrificed their individual interest to play as a team and put the other guy first, and it was the greatest thing that you could ever want. It's the chemistry of love in San Francisco and Giants playing as a team. They always try hard. They tried hard throughout the whole series, and they thought that we have such great fans, we just should never give up. Of course, it was very nervous, but um, the games were all exciting because of that. You never knew what was going to happen, and so, Every pitch mattered. You come to love it, you know? Torture is not torture if you like it. You, know? you embrace it. You embrace the feeling. You've got to love your Giants. They're the hometown team. Go Giants! Go Giants! Go Giants! Go Giants! Go Giants! That's Go Giants! Go Giants! Renteria, it's a high drive. Deep left center field. It is gone! Edgar Renteria! Right-hander for the Giants throws. Swing and a miss! And that's it! The Giants are world champions as they come pouring out of the dugout. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away. Francisco Giants, World Series champions. Let's enjoy this today, tomorrow, for a week, maybe even a month. Then let's get back to work and make another run at it. <laughs>